a warm welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we solely provide non-medical home care for our clients of the same quality that we would provide for our loved ones. I mentioned in this month's first video that September is Healthy Aging Month. Many of us know the preventative measures to take for creating a healthy lifestyle, but what if someone has a diagnosis that can't necessarily be prevented by eating healthy or exercising? Two examples of that would be amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, and multiple sclerosis, or MS. Let's start with ALS. ALS is a neurodegenerative disease where a person's brain no longer communicates with the rest of the body because motor neurons are dying off. Unlike ALS, MS is an autoimmune disease that damages the myelin sheath of the brain and spinal cord. This damage prevents nerve cells from sending signals to the motor neurons in the body. The main difference between ALS and MS is how each diagnosis affects the body. MS affects more of our mental capabilities, while ALS affects more of our physical capabilities. According to the ALS Association, someone is diagnosed with ALS every 90 minutes. Usually diagnosed between the ages of 40 and 70, it is a hard thing to diagnose. Some symptoms include loss of speech, inability to swallow, trouble walking, and for some, eventually paralysis. It's also been determined that veterans are more likely to be diagnosed with ALS because of exposure to dangerous substances like Agent Orange, certain chemicals, heavy metals, and head trauma that they may have suffered while serving. MS shares some similar symptoms with ALS, so why is an MS a neurodegenerative disease too? That's because MS is caused by the body attacking itself because the immune system can't recognize our healthy cells. Our immune system is made up of T cells, B cells, and NK cells. When someone has MS, the T cells enter the central nervous system through the blood vessels and release chemicals that damage the myelin sheath, which is what protects our nerve cells. T regulatory cells reduce inflammation in the body, but for somebody who is living with MS, these cells don't function properly and can't help to combat that inflammation. How can someone live a healthy life with a diagnosis of ALS or MS? It's all about mindset. Having a diagnosis of ALS or MS can be a hard thing to cope with, and many people think about the loss of their lifestyle and plans for the future. A healthy lifestyle starts with proper management of the diagnosis, including following the plan that's established by your physician and creating a care team to help through the journey. As symptoms progress, someone may need more help with physical needs like bathing, dressing, or using the bathroom. In other cases, it may be a need for transportation to and from appointments or exercise programs. Either way, having a care team in place should be the next step following your medical plan. I always encourage meeting the person where they are. There are so many ways to modify tasks to allow someone with ALS or MS to remain independent. And one way that we manage that here at Always Best Care is through my training as a certified Montessori dementia care professional. This CMDCP is used to help create a safe and independent environment with modifications made where necessary. For more information on ALS or MS, please visit als.org or nationalmssociety.org and make sure to give Always Best Care a call for yours or your loved one's needs. Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you next time. Always Best Care has been providing solely non-medical in-home care since 2009. If you're interested in learning more about our services or our assisted living selection services, please give us a call at 860-533-9343 or you can visit our website at www.abccentralct.com. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram too so that we can show you how better options for senior living are a priority.